physically sick when I heard the verdict. It's such a mockery. Um, uh, so many parents called me last night to tell me that they were just back in shock and stunned about this verdict. You know, he, I don't think he gets due process seven times. You know, how many times? These are rights of an American citizen. Um, I don't think that he should have those rights in the begin to begin with, let alone as many times as he did. You know, if you or I had seven felonies, where we would be today. Mm. Um, it's absolutely a stunning verdict, and I, I, I pray for the Steinleys. I know. I, I understand exactly where, what they must feel like. Well, I, and we're trying to all make sense of exactly what happened in that courtroom that, that led to so many acquittals. What I can't wrap my mind around is how they didn't at least pull off the manslaughter charge. I mean, are, are you, uh, I, I can't believe that the jurors didn't think that he was at least responsible for her death, whether or not he wanted to shoot a person at all, that he was at least responsible for her death, that he was acquitted for that blows my mind. How about you? Yeah. It does too, and you know, you or I would be would be found guilty of that. It's absolutely absurd. I don't care if it was an accident. I mean, do you think that the Steinleys care about that? They have got to be just about dying inside again because of what's happened to them from this justice system. It's absolutely the most frustrating thing that we can hear. Uh, um, it's just hmm. beyond words. I'm sickened. Your son Josh was killed back in 2010. Uh, by one of his classmates. For those people watching who don't know his story, can you please tell us a little bit about it? Yes, Josh was um, given a ride home to a kid and the, the kid um, decided to murder Josh, I believe, for his truck and he um, strangled him. He beat him in the head with a closet rod. He kicked him so hard in the stomach that his um, spleen sliced in two Jesus. and then um, strangled him over and over again. And then after death, he put him in the truck and bought gasoline and set him in a field and set him on fire. You know, for me, after the trial of Joshua's murder, you go home and it's the mo it was the most loneliest time for me because then you feel like everybody's gone back. You know, you don't have the DA or anybody helping you. Mm -hmm. And I cannot imagine feeling that way and knowing that he's going to get a couple of years in prison. And I guess the sanctuary city is going to let him out again. And your, your, your son's killer, just to clarify, got a life sentence in, in, in that case, and he is in jail for the rest of his life, right? He's in jail for about 24 uh, more years. He'll come up for parole. Who for knows parole. what will happen at that point? And I just think it's, it's you know, I mean, I, I, you know, the, the feds are now saying we're going to work to deport Zarate in the case of Kate Steinley yet again. And it's like, who, who, who cares? OK, you deport him. Yeah. He comes back two weeks later and, and we're in the same situation yet again until he commits his eighth felony, if he does. Uh, I mean, what, what, what does it matter if we're not going to secure the border? What is the difference if we deport people? It's exactly right. I mean, I don't even know how much money it would cost to deport somebody, but six times. I mean, I don't think he deserves anything less than manslaughter and to be in jail and then deported. But you're right. What's the big deal? What's the deterrent for coming to America illegally and then um, in, in the even you know committing seven felonies, deported five times, coming back and killing someone? What is the deterrent? The deterrent today for those people? It, it's it's a laughing stock. It's it's weakness at its best. Yeah. It certainly is. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you taking the time this morning and waking up early with us. And um, if anybody understands what this family is going through, it is yourself. Uh, our hearts go out to you and to the family of Kate Steinley. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.